G'day and welcome back to a curious expedition or run petition because I've got to include run somewhere. Last time round we died to spiders because our fourth expedition went exceedingly poorly. And so let's pick a new character. Let's go random. Let's see what we get with that. I mean, I could, again, try and pick a specific character, but I'm pretty happy with the random approach. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really help us, uh, help tell us who we got. Um, so I'm just going to stick with Expedition, and who are we? Seriously, like, surely, alright, if I do save and exit, can I see? No? Okay, fine, whatever. Um, so not knowing who I am. We're going to start by going to the jungle. After rising at the break of dawn, I hurried to the harbour. There are still some arrangements to be made. A well-to-do foreigner named Sir Dad Il Ilimage uh, arrived at the docks. He told me that he had originated from the area we were heading to before coming to England with a crew. He requested his way there after settled and invested here and requested I find his wife in his former village and guide her to London. Sure. And then he wished us luck. Okay. So we have landed. We are Johan Huizinga, who is an anthropologist. He's got the ability to create anthropology studies in villages. Yep, that's fine. I don't think I need anything else. Um, and he also is really good at observing things. Okay. We've got... Vivian Popuche, who is a an artist, which is great. That means that we can use her to basically create art of pretty places. Uh, again, another source of money. We have Raid Tarapur, who is a translator. So we're really good with our reputation and staying in villages. Unfortunately, he's a sexist, which is less than ideal. Okay, that's all pretty good. Let's head to the village. This is definitely not a, um, like, this is geared to be social and not fighty. So let's see. So, we entered a native village. This group were apparently well-armed and formidable warriors. As I observed the tribe, I noticed one woman was somewhat out of place. She was the wife I had been tasked to escort back to London. Without further ado, she happily joined our trek and began to show us around the village. A precious looking stone idol was positioned in front and center in the village. The natives welcomed us with smiles on their faces. The natives seemed to have heard pleasant things about us. Uh, and upon our arrival, Raid Tarapur began to converse with the natives. So we could recruit, but we've already filled up our slots. We could trade for stuff here, but we don't really have anything to trade for. We could trade off, say, a torch in exchange for something else, like jewels. Could be pretty useful long term. Or we could also trade for some supplies. Hmm. You know what? Two shovels in exchange for some jewels? Sure. Uh, and then the puppets could be useful, but I'm not going to get them. I'm not going to get the flute either. I think I might stick with that for the time being. Well, I am tempted to get some mangoes or some coca leaves, but um, yeah, I think we'll leave it with that deal. Uh, rest in the village. Allow. Okay, let's allow the hug. And we got. I did not want to offend any anyone. And allowed the child to hug me. I prayed to the god to God that the affliction was not serious. Okay, we do not have any fitting dice, so obviously stealing the idol is a dumb idea. What we should do is study the culture. I would not miss the unique chance to perform an anthropo anthropological study. With the natives' permission, I spent a few hours making sketches of their features and clothing. We can also paint a native. See, that also adds to it. And look, that's a ton of things. Although we can sell it. Really? Ah, that's really interesting. Okay, so now what we could do is we can actually trade that off. This is worth a small amount of fame, a small amount of funds, but the natives love it, right? Right now, we would just, we could boost our standing significantly, or we can actually buy some of these other things. So, 
let's see if we were to buy up um i kind of want to buy a flute but i think i'll just buy these i'll buy four of these and leave our boosted standing and then leave okay um kuzu said she'd like to visit a shrine to receive a blessing and mark that shrine so we need to go to that shrine that's fine we can do that so the question is do we go up or do we go do we go left or right this is actually a similar amount of uh, sanity and I think this is safer they're not kidding when they said it spoils fast were they all right we'll eat both of those mangoes Got to keep that in mind for the future. Okay, we found a traitor. They've got a bunch of things. They did hesitate. He may be hiding something from us. Empty canvas. We'll probably want to try and get some of that later. A shrine pendulum tells us where shrines are. I'm not really sure about getting any of these. I mean, admittedly, wow, those jewels can be used for a lot again. So what we could do is we could stock up on canvas. Or we could get some first aid kits to try and help us there. We could get a bit of tin food, which is not super great, but it, it'll keep the edge off. I can, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm playing it very safe at the moment, which is fine. Uh, and then we can head up here. Okay, explore the cave. So the question is, do we want to risk it? We have 50%. We need to succeed on one of these. And what are our odds? We, it's 50%. Ah, oh, it's super high. I mean, I could use a torch. And I got torches on me. But I'm going to explore in darkness. Oh, look, we got two eyes. Super fine. Got there. We got through without any tunnels. Nothing could thwart us. We found... Aha! We found a small cavern scattered with the detritus of what seemed to be a failed expedition. The skeleton of what must have been a British explorer stabbed us through cracked eye sockets. All the bones we had found had been cracked open and it seemed sucked empty of marrow. Alright, investigate remains. Loot their stuff. Flares, you say. Useful for revealing nearby areas. Yep, yeah, we can take as many of these without worrying. And we've got a treasure map and a shovel. It's a deal. Okay. So this is where. We've got. Uh, how do I. Uh, right click. Aha. This is totally here. I'm totally going there. So the plan is. We go here. We dig stuff up. Like so. Loot. Two totem sticks. Okay. That doesn't seem that useful but sure whatever close I'm kind of disappointed with that treasure frankly um, and we could just duck back to the boat and dump some of this stuff back there which is what I'm gonna do I want to make sure I'm not carrying too much junk oh and also got enough discovery points to boost people Who do we boost first I think I'm gonna boost the artist yeah okay so return to ship access ship storage what we're going to put in here is anthropological studies i don't think we'll get a chance to make another one and if we do that'll be fine and we will put these torches and these shovels i think we'll be fine i think we'll probably sell off that pistol later okay um everything else we'll take with us Go back to expedition. We could rest. Hmm. Let's see. Or we could just head up this way and rely on our canned food, of which we have a fair amount. Yes, let's do that. So we've got hyenas. We want to avoid the hyenas if possible. Oh, look at those elephants. Interesting. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious canned food. Okay, new region discovered. What does elephant? What does encountering elephants do for us? 
I suspect this will be the pyramid. No, this is the shrine we were asked to go to. So we examine the shrine. All right, we arrived at a long forgotten shrine. All manner of plant life grew toward the sun. A circle of dried up blood had been drawn around the structure as a warning for anyone that dared to enter. The structure showed some big cracks, but it seemed secure enough to explore. We'll paint the shrine. Vivian Popochet set up her easel and uh, be paints, uh, began her work on the shrine. A little time passed and her work was done. I could see she was proud of the outcome. So now we have another painting collection. Um, still not worth a huge amount. We can enter the shrine before us lay some kind of ceremony in the room. If this place held any riches, we knew we would find them here. Our steps echoed as we approached the sacred altar. So, we can get the Necronomicon and a golden skull. And we totally will, because we are sensible people and mountains erupt from the ground. Okay, so we will move up this way, and now we have unlocked HP Lovecraft, oh yeah. Okay, we should totally try and catch those butterflies if we can. We're also going to explore the springs, paint the landscape, and yes, another wonderful painting for her, and we can also rest overnight. Okay, Riyadh and Kuzu. I'm going to arrest Kuzu. We got no fitting dice. This is not going to work out well for us. We got we're no got no choice. So um, what happens here? She left. We fail in our quest. That sucks. Uh, let us leave. And we've got to do something about this. So we will dump these. Um, left click to use the book. And now we go a bit nuts. I tried to browse a book of immemorial darkness, but the grotesque letters started to dance before my eyes. I felt a strange darkness creeping up on me. I don't remember if it was me or the book itself, but it had snapped close. I was at the brink of collapsing and I swore to myself never to touch this evil book again. Ah ha ha, okay. My hands were twitching as I tried to tear a page from the unholy book. It felt increasingly hot in my grasp, but then I then inexplicably ignited. I had no choice but to drop it. Okay. And that's out of fire. Okay, we'll go this way. Hazinga's Artful Poisonous Butterfly. And so that is also pretty inconvenient. Eat these things and go and enter. Explore. Elephant burial ground. We'll loot the elephant burial ground for elephant parts and eat the last of our delicious foodstuffs. Okay, where are we? We need to go up and to the right. And we are going to need to break into the whiskey pretty soon. Let's go north and try and escape the raging fires. That is indeed strong. Okay, where the heck are we going then? Further east. And bad stuff is going to happen. I should have started using this. Aha! Well, nope, this, this is definitely where we're going first. Got the butterfly, 80% chance of bad things happening. Explore! End of the pyramid! Endless fame awaits! We were slightly nuts, but it was fine. Everything is fine, we have succeeded, we got back home, new world bonus, we came second. Not first, could have been better, but we finished our expedition. And what do we get? Heroic! Triumphs. Okay, occult vision. We can get the location of all stone circles and increases the radius when analyzing them. 
A ruffian gives us an extra attack die, or protected gives us an extra defense die. Maybe, given that we keep getting things that need one of these two, maybe we should get one of these two. Try to avoid fights where possible. Uh, I'm going to get the protector and hope I can run from things? We'll get the attacker and then... Alright, let's get the defender. Okay, Frederick Codney returns, Mercury returned, and they all brought tons of treasure. And we brought basically nothing. What we brought was an anthropological study, a gift, we brought a painting collection, again gift, it's not worth much funds, or do we keep it? Let's keep it actually. The golden skull we will totally gift, oh that almost puts us in the lead. The butterfly collection, oh right, fame 20 fun 10, oh wait, we could um, I already selected keep, so I should probably have checked that. But fame plus 20 or funds plus 10, we are pretty low on funding right now. But these things are worth tons of fun, so we will gift the butterflies and we will sell both elephant tusks. Yes, indeed. And next time round, we will go somewhere else. Where will we go? I'm not sure. Either the Arctic or the Sad Desert. There's a lot more to see in the Arctic, and I think therefore more to take pretty paintings of. So I think we'll probably go to the Arctic. But on, we'll do that next time. Until then, bye. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you spending the time and effort watching the videos I make. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, on the left there should be another video from this playlist. On the right there will be whatever YouTube recommends. And in the center there is a convenient subscribe button just in case you need it.